tight and blood are running through our veins. Get loud, put your hands up, let the whole Ladies and gentlemen, we have a video here of all 15 of Ryan Tannehill's touchdowns in 2022. We're going to start this off and we're going to be grading how much of these were good plays by the quarterback, Ryan, or were kind of the luckier plays. Now, we're going to get into this. So, Ryan here, we, I already know what this is. That's a Russ Ryan and Don Trill on the same page here reading a massive mismatch. And that's the mismatch of linebacker on Dontrell Hilliard. Tannehill notices it, fits that ball right in, and that's just a terrible play for him to get caught in. And a big touchdown from um, Dontrell. Now, Dontrell is actually about to have the next touchdown, I believe, as well. That's just... I believe Dontrell does have this next touchdown. Ryan sees Dontrell, posts it to him, and Dontrell's just off to the races. Now, that's just exposed coverage. Nobody near Dontrell Hilliard, and just a great touchdown from Hilliard. Way to find open space. Now here, this next touchdown is going to be against the Raiders. Tannehill's going to really execute the run pass option well. Find Jeff Swain wide open. It is a smart way to execute the run pass option. Now here, we're going to see another goal line situation and that's just gonna be a quarterback sneak that's no real situation from Ryan just a good quarterback sneak here we go now this from the 10 Ryan's gonna post look and find a ride open Robert Woods kind of seeing a bit of a pattern early on with a lot of these touchdowns kind of blown coverages Ryan now here. Ryan stepping up, and that's a good play to Chica Conquo. Able to really step up and find your quarterback, find your tight end over the middle of the field, having a bunch of open space. And see, this is a smart throw for Ryan anyway. Like, he might have Burks here who he can make that same throw to. But he believes Chick's in the middle of the field, can split the coverage. That's just a really good throw, and Chick actually is going to break that and fall into the end zone for the touchdown. That's just an overall great play from Chick Conquo. And Ryan Tannehill, too, a way to step up in the pocket. Now, this is a, I believe that is a screen, and Ryan standing in and taking that hit, which you'd love to see from your quarterback, able to maintain his pocket presence in the present. In the pace of getting a massive blitz from two from a good defensive line in Washington. J uh, Jamin Davis, the rookie, actually was the man bringing the pressure. Now, here we go. This is against the Denver Broncos. And this is probably what I thought was Ryan's best throw of the season. A massive out route to Nick Westbrook Aquina. And that is overall a really good play, in my opinion. Here, we're going to get a bit of a highlight on it. Ryan's going to post it up, and this overall a great throw from Ryan Tannehill to Nick Westbrook Aquina. Now this, I don't know how much you can put this on Ryan. This is Ryan just executing that play to perfection. A great way to execute the flea flicker. Not, like I said, not much of that can really be put on Ryan. But NWI really able to execute the, play, uh, the flea flicker well. Ryan with a good throw and just an overall positive. Now, this is probably what I thought was Ryan's best game was the game against the Packers. The really last game where he kind of similar was at 100%. We're going to find that's actually we missed that, but this is probably one of the better throws of Ryan's day, of one of the best throws of Ryan's season as well. He was able to really fit that in there, and that's just also a good catch from Austin Hooper. Able to maintain possession and score a big touchdown. And here we go. This is against the Philadelphia Eagles. Ryan is going to pump. Look over the middle of the field. Find Traylon Burks. Another good play. And a play that still angers me today because there's very much have been something, some sort of...
penalty thrown there, but this is a good play from Chick Conquay able to find a drag of the field. Chig gets open. Big touchdown on the drag again to Ryan. Now Ryan's going to read the field again. Post one in the corner to NWI, who has maintained his Ryan's safety net the past couple of seasons, which is why I don't understand why NWI gets the hate he does. Has really been the safety net for Tannehill over the past couple of seasons. I believe this is about to be a QB sneak as well, which it is. And that's going to be the end. Those are all of Ryan's touchdowns the last game he played against the Chargers. So, this is my thing with Ryan. Is I'm not completely out on Ryan being at least a decent quarterback. Now, the where I am out on is if Will Levis can perform better, I'm all for it. Now, that's the thing. Can Will Levis be a guy and come out and not make those mistakes that we saw him make in college? Can Levis be that? That's the big that's the big decision that you gotta really think about. Is can Will Levis come out and not make those same boneheaded mistakes that he made in college? Ryan Tannehill really has shown that in the regular season that he can go without making those boneheaded decisions. Now when the position is put much more on him to make those plays in the playoffs, he kinda has cracked up on that pressure, which is something I would like to see if Ryan can get out of given another opportunity in the playoffs, which is what I think he would try to do this year for the Titans. And I don't think it's completely impossible to say the Titans could make the playoffs. Not saying that they're going to make a massive run, because they got very tough teams to go up against in the AFC, but they've always been competitive with the teams in the AFC. They were competitive last year with the Chargers. They were competitive with the Chiefs with Malik Willis. Let's not forget what happened last season. The Titans arguably have a better defense this year or have without a doubt a better offensive line the only position you can say maybe took a downgrade is the wide receiver position and that's because nothing was added the only, they lost Robert Woods and that's it but this is what you are adding you are adding Chickaconquo to be the full time starter on the Titans you're giving, you're hoping Kyle Phillips can stay healthy and stay on the field, because then you've got three solid net receivers. But what the Titans really are lacking is wide receiver depth, and that's what I hope they could try to get at some point, if some cuts happen around the um, training camp preseason. Mark. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of grading Ryan Tannehill's 2022 touchdowns. If you did, leave a like. If you really liked it, subscribe. But above all else. I will see you guys in the next video. This has been your boy Cast and I'm out. Bye guys. Tell them boys to tighten up. Tighten up. Let me hear you say. Oh shit again, hype now. Tell them boys to tighten up. Tighten up. Let me hear you say. Nice.